It is widely accepted that the sport of speedway racing was invented at the West Maitland Showground in New South Wales in 1923. Johnny S. Hoskins, an expat New Zealander, came to the rescue of the ailing West Maitland Show Society with the proposal to stage motorcycle racing as the major attraction at the venue's annual show. The experiment, branded as the Electric Light Carnival, was a smashing success, with huge crowds filling the venue to see riders competing on modified road bikes. Wow, December 15, 1923, the birth of speedway motorcycle racing as we know it today. A great success, massive crowd, and Johnny Hoskins right there and then knew he had really hit upon something. After the sport became big business in the New South Wales Hunter Valley region, Hoskins backed his entrepreneurial skills by taking the sport of speedway to Sydney in 1926 at the RAS showground located at Moore Park. He was then instrumental in introducing the sport to a national audience at venues such as the Brisbane Exhibition Ground, Adelaide Showground and Claremont Showground in Perth. Well, Johnny Hoskins, realising that he had really developed something that could be national, took it right across Australia. Speedway motorcycle racing in Australia was established in the late 20s. The success of the sport abroad ultimately led to the introduction of an international event with riders competing from Australia, France, England and America. This event saw fans packing the terraces and hence it was to be the forerunner to the first official World Speedway Motorcycle Championship staged at London's Wembley Stadium in 1936. Well, this was a great occasion for Speedway. Close to 100,000 people at London's Wembley Stadium saw the first official World Speedway title in 1936, and Australia's first World Motorsport Champion won by Lionel Van Praag, who defeated England's Eric Langton in a runoff. With Speedway motorcycle racing now established as big business at the box office, it would face a significant challenge after effectively being put on hold following the outbreak of World War II, leading to the world title being suspended. Well, the big question was the boom prior to the outbreak of the Second World War. Could that popularity be returned after hostilities ceased? The answer was an overwhelming yes. The sport in England thrived. After World War II ended, the sport came back bigger and better than ever, attracting huge crowds across the globe. Europe became an integral part of the sport that was booming in Australia, the United States, New Zealand and Great Britain. Well, what happened in England, the league racing, the popularity of Speedway, particularly throughout the 40s and into the 50s, the league racing then, Sweden developed a strong league and the same with Poland in later years. League racing in the Northern Hemisphere was extremely popular. In the years that followed through to present day, Australia has been a dominant nation in world championship competition. In addition to Lionel Van Praag, the world crown has also been won by Arthur George Bluey Wilkinson in 1938. South Australia's Jack Young, the sport's first multiple world champion, followed with consecutive victories in 51 and 52. Other Australian winners include three times champion Jason Crump and 2012 World Speedway champion Sydney's Chris Holder. So, from humble beginnings at the West Maitland Showground in December of 1923, Speedway motorcycle racing is now staged in 20 countries around the world, with the World Championship Series being televised to a worldwide audience of millions. Well, who would have ever thought from that humble beginning at West Maitland in 1923, Speedway motorcycle racing today is a worldwide sport. Its popularity throughout Europe is massive, massive television ratings, and the sport is getting better and better. Oh,